Good morning, everybody. This is Steve from the Whirly Bogger. It is Thursday, the 15th of August. And just a little quick update here on the river, what we've been dealing with. Of course, by now, I'm sure everybody that fishes the river, you know, continuously is, is aware of the water situations that we're facing. We are in flip-flop. So everybody's thinking that when's flip-flop, when's flip-flop. We are in flip-flop now. The river has been coming down gradually um, over the last week or so. That's uh, They've, they've been running the flip-flop like that for several years now. It's just it started early this year because of the water situation and lack of it in the reservoirs. So the one good positive note that I can say today is the weather is dropping off and it's getting cooler. Much, much cooler. So it's the 15th of August, it could be going the other way. We could be seeing, you know, triple digit heat waves coming, but that's not the case. Temperatures are dropping into the low 80s during the day. Uh, and that's what it's projected for for the next week. And uh, getting cool at night. So um, we need the reservoir. The main, main reservoir, the Clay Elm Reservoir, where all this water's coming from, we need that to cool down. So the water in the reservoir is warm, and that's making the river temperatures warm. So today's reading, uh, in the current, in the sun, is 65.2. Oh. All of the better guide services, you know, in the county have initiated their own boot owl, which is a term that was coined in Montana. So when the rivers in Montana reach 70 degrees for three straight days, they go into a, a phase called hoot owl, where you can only fish from six in the morning until noon in, in the afternoon, and then fishing is shut down for the rest of the day. So, <clears throat> all of the professional guide services have been initiating their own hoot owl. It's nothing that's initiated by our state fish and game. Uh, I don't think they even know wh what's going on in the river. To tell you the truth, I think they're freaking clueless. So, you know, it's the people that, you know, we make our living here. Yeah, it's tough on us for sure. You know, we have to cancel trips. Most people don't want to get up and fish at 5 a.m. in the morning, so, you know, we've had to postpone our trips. And I'm not looking for you to feel sorry for me. That's just uh, the way it is for all of us. So, um, but we'll be back to fishing by early next week, and uh, we'll be back doing full days. We'll see the temperatures drop off here. At 65, it's uh, about 11 o'clock right now, so um, we'll see the temperatures drop off. Once they get down around 60, the fishing will improve greatly too. Right now, you know, the fishing's not, it's not terrific. So if anybody tells you, yeah, the fishing's terrific, I guess it's, it's just, it's an all out perspective, right? Like I had guys in the fly shop a couple weeks ago that floated about a 20 mile stretch of river. And I asked them how the fishing was and they said, oh, it was good, we caught seven. And I was like, well, okay, you caught seven fish. You covered 20 miles of river. If you average that out at a thousand fish per mile, that's 20,000 fish that you went over and you caught seven and you thought the fishing was good. So just a different perspective you know, from, from everybody, you know, and how they see things. But, you know, right now, we are just dealing with warm water 
and the flip-flop is uh, is in motion and the river is dropping so but like I said positive note uh, the weather is cooler and cooling down and it's gonna continue that way so our fishing going going to improve if you have any questions give us a call at the, at the pro shop uh, we will help you uh, understand any of this you know that's going on if you're confused and uh, we are uh, getting solid bookings for the fall so uh, if you want to get your date in with us I would uh, do that promptly we've had to move you know a lot of these dates over the last couple of weeks into the fall which is taking up our uh, taking up our space so if you uh, if you want to get a date on the books I would do so immediately all right so everybody uh, hang in there enjoy the uh, middle of August and uh, we will be back to fishing very very shortly